hello hello Aries welcome back to the channel it's Cecilia Tarot and today we're going to do your love reading to see what's going on with you and your person Aries so Aries if you are new here remember to like the video if the video do resonate with you by liking the video YouTube sees that and push the videos forward into a bigger audience so the video can grow so the channel can grow and if the video doesn't resonate with you guys I will have a playlist at the end well, in the below section of this video. Um, and hopefully one of those messages resonate if this one does not. All right, Aries. So what we're going to do is let's pull um, some cards from here. Whatever the angels give us. It could be one card or two or three. It doesn't matter. Whatever they give us, that's going to be your main focus of this relationship and why this relationship is going through whatever it's going through, okay? All right, angels. What the What is Aries' first message? What's their main focus of this relationship, please? What's their main focus of this relationship? There it is. And their person. Oof, my God. There it is. What's going on? <laughs> the angels gave you a whole bunch of cards. All right, so we have the sun here. We have the seven of wands. We have the king. Uh, and I'm not going to read these in reverse, so not in this uh, reading here, okay? Usually I read in reverse any cards that I have, but no, not these, not in this reading, because we're going to do your full reading, okay? So these are your main situation of what's going on in your um, relationship at this present time, okay? So I feel like we have the sun, we have the seven of wands, and we have the king of pentacles, and we have the six of pentacles here. I feel like, you know, you, you guys are happy together or anytime you are together, you guys are happy, okay? Or this, they, there could be potential happiness in your relationship. I do see the seven of wands where this person feels like they have to fight constantly for this relationship to work, okay? I feel like this person is, you know, very overprotective of this relationship and not ready to give up. They're ready to fight for this relationship, but this is something that they constantly have to do. And I also feel like there is a lot of people that might be trying to come in into your relationship and trying to have their two cents in of what's really going on between you and this person. Um, I feel like this person is trying to be respectful about the situation and not try to curse these people out on your behalf. So these people could be related to you, Aries. Um, so keep it as it resonates, okay? Um, but your person is really trying to work things out when it comes to you and them, okay? But of course, there's a lot of struggles before you could get to the rainbow with your person, okay? We, we see that we know that okay we have the king of pentacles here and the six of pentacles where i feel like you know stability is needed um you know more going out more you know nurturing this relationship more giving this person back you know i feel like this person usually gives to you and i feel like you need to give and return i feel like you're give, showing this person your love and everything but i feel like this is something that you guys have to continue to do for this relationship to work okay i feel like there's an energy is here where they're stable where they're ready to settle down like someone is ready to settle down with the right one okay somebody that is nurturing like them someone that is giving like them someone this is like very important to them okay um, or to you, Aries, all right? So we're going to keep these cards here. Let me just put them because these are your main focus. I don't know how we're going to have these cards like here so you can see them. But, you know, this is something that you constantly have to work through with your person, you know? All right, so let's see what's going on in your reading. All right, angels, what's going on with Aries and their person when it comes to their relationship, please? What messages do you have for us with Aries and their person, okay? What's the first three batch of cards, please, for Aries and their person? The first three batch of cards. All right, Aries, we have the Two of Swords, we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse, and the Five of Wands. So, of course, again, there's um, every time you see the Seven of uh, 
wands here you always see the seven of the five of wands next to it for for some reason okay um you know i feel like there's a lot of conflict here and i have a lot of people trying to get into this relationship with their two cents as well okay so aries it could be your family that's coming in to attack your person it could be their family coming in to attack you and your family okay but i do see a lot of constant bickering and this could this could also be between you and your person but again you know keep in mind it's five wands five different people seven wands you're right here so you know main focus is that you guys need to learn how to keep your business in internally in with you and your person okay because again you know sometimes you have to protect your relationship in the seven of wands because this person is clearly trying to protect their relationship in the seven of wands okay they like try to have people not come into their business i feel like somebody wants to make peace with this i feel like you and your person fell out of this relationship which has a lot of potential um you know, but this person is ready to make peace in the two of wands. But there's a lot of manipulation here. You know, a young energy coming in where it's just blaming someone for this uh, situation to, that fall, fell apart, you know. But I feel like in the two of wands, this person, you know, it hasn't made a decision yet to make peace with this. But I also feel like, you know, they're going to sometime soon. Um, they just. You know, I feel like if it's not even to fix the situation, at least you guys could have clarity about this and move forward with your life. Because I feel like in the sun, like we said in the beginning of the reading, main focus was like, you guys are happy together. You guys have the sun, you know, you guys have a lot of good times together. Yeah, I do see somebody trying to come back in here. Hmm. All right. You know, second batch of threes, we have the lovers, we have the two of uh, uh, pentacles here, and we have the strength conflict 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 there's a lot of fighting going on in this relationship i feel like somebody's trying to gather their strength and i feel like they're at this point where they want to talk to you in the strength card okay they gather their strength they're ready to talk they're ready to fix things okay i feel like somebody has two things they're going back and forth with or going with two things or two decisions that they have to make like is it a family or is it my love life what which one do i have to choose from if it's not a third party situation because i don't think if we have a third party coming in here but somebody has two things that they're juggling okay i feel like this person is not at a place where they want to make a decision i feel like they feel like they could balance these things out um you know and give each person their time i also feel like you know this person in the lovers wow a lot of passion is coming through here in these readings i feel like this person wants to call someone wants to text someone wants to be with someone physically like there's a lot of um uh you call that temptation going on here if you guys are not already sleeping together this is what this person wants okay this person wants you back in their bed they want to be with you you know um they want to you know just bring peace to this relationship and talk about their conflict so it's not only being physical with you like they miss you it's also to fix the situation to see what's what's really going on here in this relationship okay all right so we have on your third batch of threes we have the three of pentacles the six of wands in reverse and the death card in the upright so i feel like this person learned a lot and you learned a lot from them okay i feel like this person still admires you in the three of pentacles okay i feel like at one time they did think maybe this relationship was everything to them and maybe you were the one but right now they're feeling that you know you might not be the one for them but they still respect you okay i feel like this is just re recovering because when they looked at you before you didn't have any flaws to them but now that you know you're going through your your transformation and your learning process with each other I feel like this person realized, okay, well, you have a lot of flaws. So this is something I have to accept or move on from. And I feel like this relationship within it, it ended. But, you know, this person is willing to fight for this in a death. This person is willing to move forward with you, okay? Let's see what's on your fourth batch of threes here. All right, so we have the Ace of Wands here. We have the Knight of Swords, and we have the Seven of of swords in reverse so i feel like you went under in your your own investigation because you were trying to find answers within you okay and i feel like you didn't believe in what your person was telling you really so i'm wondering what's this two of pentacles about because you actually went under 
when try to fix things yourself or try to find out what was really going on in this relationship like play detective picking up all the pieces and putting the clues together and i feel like you have found what you needed to find out about this connection and now you're willing to are ready to make a decision based on what how you're going to move forward okay i do feel like somebody wants a new a beginning here okay a new beginning in this relationship the ace of wands they want a start over a fresh start not to look and think about the past but to move forward but there's a blockage here that's happening okay in this connection where someone is like you know what in the knight of swords i'm definitely putting a hold on this and i think i it was morally about you aries trying to find out the answers and try to find out the truth about what's going on in this connection okay but let's see what's the fourth three batch of cards here we have the nine of swords the death i'm not death the devil in reverse and the justice wow <sighs> lord so <laughs> In your fourth batch of threes, I feel like you definitely were under a lot of pressure with this situation. I feel like your person put you a lot of, through a lot of depression, a lot of doubt. I feel like your person put you through a lot of hell, a lot of tears, you know, with this situation when you found out about the secret devil. Um, a lot of secrets here. So, listen... So, and it's funny how it fell under the Dagon Two of Pentacles. I was just hoping that this family could be dealing with family, like I have to choose my family or I have to choose you, which one do I have to choose? But there was a situation going on with your person with a third party. Your person was juggling two things where they didn't feel like they need to make a decision. And the reason why is because they wasn't overwhelmed with it. They were doing this very well. I feel like how you felt, how you found out about it, like I said, with the Seven of Swords in reverse, you you felt something was going on. You didn't catch this person in the act. You had to go under investigation to find out the facts because you didn't believe what this person was telling you, okay? And I feel like when you found out, um, Aries, you it brought a lot of tears to your eyes, a lot of depression, a lot of things were going on. And you're in a place right now that you're just letting all of this go because you're going to be ready to move on if you haven't already, okay? You're ready to let this go and move on. Uh, but I do see this relationship falling into your your favor with the justice okay so for some of you i feel like this person could have been already married with someone that they feel very stuck into a relationship with because a lot of stuff was tied up and they can't get out of it like they feel like they're just stuck like there's no way out they've been with this person for too long or they've been in this situation for too long like it's just no way out now if it's not a third party connection which i deeply feel it is it could be a drinking addiction something from this person's past okay childhood that they grew up with with, that they're still dealing with so it could be a drug situation a sexual situation uh, um what is it a uh, drug sexual situation or what is it a family a toxic family situation a drinking situation you know, this person could be dealing with a lot of things if it's not a third party connection, which I'm feeling really feeling is a, a, a lot of secrets that this person hold back and you found out about on your own. And um, this really just put a lot on you, okay? And I feel like, you know, you are going to have the clarity, like this person is going to tell you everything, you're going to, you know, when you're going to confirm everything, but at the same time, this relationship will fall into your favor. I feel like, you know, this person feels very stuck in the situation, um, and this person will, I feel like this person will escape with you, you know, if they have to, because at the end of the day, I feel like it's either their person will give them up, like this, the relationship the relationship that they're in that they're so toxic that they're trying to get out of or not trying to get out of because this person's in the reverse they're not trying to get out of it but i feel like somebody will get them out of it you know like will leave them because they're not trying to make any moves to get out of it you know um let's see here Ooh, all right so we have the king of wands here in the back of the deck okay all right, and a lot of manipulation energy coming through as well. So let me just say this. Your last uh, three batch of three is the hangman, the four of cups, and the magician in reverse. A lot of recklessness here. This person is very reckless. Somebody is acting very reckless. 
because they're not getting their way. They're not getting their way with someone here. So I feel like this person is going to give you the justice or make this fall into your favor like they want you. If you want me, I, I you, you got me kind of situation, but I don't feel like you're going to take them back like this is something that you want. It's funny how all of these cards are showing me this, but, you know, you have the Six of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, you know, here. Like, these are your main focus. Like, you guys need to work on this. Ugh. You guys are happy together. There's a lot of things that's going on, but, you know, somebody is willing to fight. Like, someone is fighting for this. You know, then you have commitment here. Oh. But then you have your person that's waiting in the wings, you know, waiting to see when, you know, the perfect time that they could talk to you. In the Four of Cups here, I feel like this person still wants to be with you, wants to be friends with you at first, if, if that's what you want from them. But again, you know, um, Aries, I feel like, you know, you are thinking that this person might not be the one for you anymore in the Six of Wands here, okay? Like, you might feel like this person might not be the one for you. And this person is very reckless, like the energy that's coming through that is sleeping around like you know like screw everybody i don't care you know drinking a lot smoking a lot taking drugs you know you like you know just having sex unprotected with other people for some of you stds might be involved be very careful like this person have a reckless energy when they're not with you okay because i feel like you are their happiness they're willing to fight for this i feel like you know um with these cards here someone is just ready like this person is very stable minded um, you know, they probably got a house, car, and everything, but again, it could be tied up with a third party. You know, I don't feel like this person is willing to give up everything, but I feel like that third party will give it up for them. Like, will take everything and kick them out kind of situation, because this is how I see this person. Like, someone is very stable here. It could be you, Aries, that is very stable as well. And this person sees you like this, a very given person, a very stable person, somebody that's ready to commit to a relationship. And I feel like this is you. I feel like that's what is going on here, okay? Um, oh, my goodness. But I feel like you are also willing to fight for this connection, Aries, because this could be your energy as well because you make this person makes you happy, right? You guys have a lot of passion together, a lot of romance together, but there's a lot of friction, a lot of friction coming through. But I see that you haven't made your decision yet. But I'm going to leave this here, Aries. I hope it resonates. If it does, go ahead and like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on YouTube, and I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.